Probably the marketing tool that means the most and has the most effect, especially for me, is Facebook. So I want to give you an overview of using Facebook, but we're going to have to do a couple of videos on it because there are bottom level users and then there are more sophisticated users. So this video is going to be a little bit more for the uh, bottom level or beginning users. So one of the things about Facebook um, that you have to keep in mind is you want to make sure that everything you put on here reflects who you are and is very positive. Um, one of the things that you need to think about is that whoever you're thinking about um, wanting to get in touch with to buy your art is going to see anything that you post on here. So having the personal page is very important. You're also going to have to have a fan page, and I'll show you how to set that up later. But your personal page is where people are going to go to learn about you personally. Uh, it's more important than a website, actually, because employers actually look at what you do when you um, sign up for Facebook. So a couple of hard, fast rules would be don't post anything that you wouldn't say in front of your mother or in a room full of 100 people. Don't um, put anything that is overtly negative or really um, angry up there because it actually haters, uh, <laughs> well, a friend of mine who works at LinkedIn calls people like that haters. And another thing is if someone gets offended by one of your posts, just unfriend them and block them. Um, you don't want to deal with someone who's going to be freaked out by you. And also there's going to be like, you know, you can see I have an awful lot of gay stuff up here. And people get freaked out by the fact that I'm a dyed in the wool, <laughs> die hard liberal. And also that I support uh, gay rights and that I make a lot of gay art. So I think it's very important that you have to own what goes on your Facebook page and really believe in it and stand by it. But also one of the other things that I think is kind of important is that you want to put content on your page that is not simply resharing other people's things unless you are resharing other artists' stuff. And that's kind of an important thing is that um, I do a lot of resharing of other people's stuff. So this is the entry page that your people and your friends see and um, the timeline is the top. The second most important thing on this page is the about page. Now when you're setting up your account make sure that you really understand what you are putting out there and who you say you are. So you know all of the details that you choose to include are really really important and contact information some people freak out about providing their cell phone what are they going to do you you can you can block them if they keep calling you and bothering you but you want to make sure that you're honest about this and that you are clear about where you come from so that people can check you out and also um adding friends is very important um and i can honestly say that probably about 80 percent of the people on facebook that I'm friends with, even though I haven't met some of them, or a lot of them, are people that I'm genuinely interested in and I have a lot of interactions with. And uh, generally they can be sort of fans and people that I care about. Um, so I think that's kind of an important thing to think about um, what you're saying about yourself, who you're friends with, because that also means something to, to other people. And also make sure you keep things extremely positive and only share things that are important. Now, there's another thing that you have to pay attention to is people can see your photo stream, so make sure your photos are all things that you would be willing to show your mom, okay, or show your grandparents. I think that's going to be really important for you to, to understand to do that. So the photos that you post are going to be some of the more important things that you post up here, and they will mean something to other people, and they really reflect who you are. And what's also kind of nice is it's a good journal and there are opportunities on, you know, you can actually print these as books and things like that. So make sure that anything you put on Facebook is going to be something that you're proud of and that you're not ashamed of. Uh, those are some really, really important ideas. Okay. Now, the next thing is, if you're on Facebook and you're using it for marketing, you need to really try to just not have anything that's too private on here and you have to go into your security settings so in the upper right hand corner there's a, a padlock click on that padlock and you have to go through your privacy checkup and all that stuff but 
I'm I think it's really important that you don't share things again that are even your real birth date I don't have my real birth date on here so <clears throat> one of the most important things is you need to keep your profile as public as possible everything you do needs to be visible to everyone who's on there now some of you will disagree with this and that's fine but you're using it for marketing so when you share things and when people want to share things that you've shared on your page it makes it harder if you have other kinds of uh, of privacy so when you post things <clears throat> you can choose all kinds of options I choose anyone on Facebook you can you can go through and you can pick whoever you want friends accept acquaintances all that kind of stuff but the public one is the right one for you as an artist okay so that's a, that's a very important thing the other thing is who can contact me um, I almost feel like turning off my filtering but I don't see an option for doing that um, I also allow everyone to send me friend requests and then if you get into a bind uh, you can block someone or unfriend them just by putting in uh, things on here okay so <clears throat> the point being that your padlock your security you want to have your shop your door wide open for visitors you want to be one of those people that people can just stop by and visit so that's an important thing now at the top of the page is the the link that says your profile and your profile is different than this thing that says home so the profile is everything that you have posted and people have put on your wall and sent you okay that's that's the first place that people will see when they go to friend you and they'll think about it this home button here is the next place so click on that this is basically your feed it's think of it as a magazine that changes all the time and has interesting things and advertisements in it and news about people that you actually care about so this feed is going to be really important and one of the things that's kind of important about looking at your feed is to understand that you have a choice of seeing it um, top stories or the most recent now it always reverts back to top stories every time you exit Facebook and then go back in again so that's a problem because it only shows highlights and Facebook has its own um, sort of selection process or algorithms that allow you to choose different kinds of things you want to click on most recent the reason why you want to click on the most recent is that's who's on right now those are the people who are who are on who are the the most important so picking those people would be really important rather than choosing something else so as you look at your feed it includes things that are the groups that you belong to which will also show up down here in the lower left hand side so this is from artists trying to make a living creating art which is one of the groups that I belong to um, in fact it hasn't been a really effective group for me but we can talk about the groups in the in the next couple of videos it has photos from friends of mine and um, whenever someone buys a work of art for me I look them up on, on Facebook and I friend them because I want to be friends with my collectors I want to find out how they're doing and and be in communication with them so as I scroll down you can see that there are lots of uh, things that are in my feeds that relate to the things that I love animals um, fan art is one of the things that I'm kind of into um, things like the Beatles you know all kinds of stuff that I think are kind of interesting so as you scroll through you'll see things that are kind of cool and pique your interest and one of the things that's kind of important when you do that is you stop and you make comments to people so let's take a look and review some of the comments that I have up here okay <clears throat> one of the things that's really important is these comments are one sentence and they don't really matter that much in some ways um, they're a nice communication between two people Seraphin is actually a, a very good artist who used to be one of my students and notice that he linked his account up with Instagram so anything he does on Instagram also goes to his feed and you might want to do that I'm not sure um, but one of the things that really matters to people is that you actually write something that is meaningful that actually um, says something so for example if someone posts a photo of something that you like 
or uh, something that you find are interesting, you might want to um, really think about writing a minimum of two sentences. Now essentially what I've done is I've made contact with someone who is in my group, Dudes with Dogs, a group that I don't own that group, but I'm friends with people in it. And I've said something that's significant that's, that will make him feel good. Now, one of the things that's kind of important is don't flirt with people if you're not going to follow through. Now, I know this is a little flirtatious, but really all it is is a compliment. And he, this guy is going to see my name. He's going to see this comment. He's going to see that I took... Uh, a, a minute and a half to type something and I thought about what I was looking at not just hitting the like button and that it means something to me so one of the things that's kind of important about um, your feed is that when you go through it you comment to people about what's interesting about what they're showing you um, and I I can't stress enough how important it is to be sincere when you are commenting on people and that you do not uh, just hit the like button most of the time. So for example, this guy is a professor of mine. Uh, I did my master's thesis with him in art history. And what's so funny is that he um, he's visiting one of the places uh, that I wrote about in my thesis. So I'm going to make a comment to him. So you can see one of the things that I did is I actually said something that's real. I think one of the important things about Facebook is that as you go through these things, it's very easy to share an article and not say anything about it. And with artists, that's totally fine. You can, you can make comments and so on and so forth. But what's really kind of cool to do sometimes is not just share an image that's a meme, but actually write something and put an image in it. So what you want to do then is um, really like a, a good way of behaving could be something along the lines of finding some sort of quote from a humanitarian that you like and then posting their picture. Um, commenting on some real things that matter to you and commenting because people just share things indiscriminately that aren't that <laughs> good or interesting but when people um, write something that is meaningful make sure you try to respond to them so that's one of the things that you should do is give yourself um, 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the afternoon to go on Facebook and decide that you're going to write back to at least five people who have posted something. But the other thing is whenever you see something you like, of course it's great to like it. To hit um, the like button on everything will make people feel good. But in a way, it's kind of the tail wagging the dog when all you do is hit likes because people will see your name pop up, but I don't know if it'll really help you to sell your work to just like everything that you see in your feed. I think it's more important to do something of some real quality. Okay, so now we've kind of looked at um, the top end of Facebook and the next video I want to go through is I want to talk about how to use groups and how to join groups.